Bro. That, that actually made me a little bit sick to my stomach. Oh. What is going on guys, it is Shay J here, back with a new video, and today this is one of the videos you guys have been asking me to watch for a while. Uh, there, will, I guess, will be two parts to this video because not only does it sort of include the, the high-speed cars that we've been looking at, like the high-speed vehicles, sort of all the new avenues that we've been looking for in that area, but it also includes Top Gear. Uh, we did just finally drop the Top Gear Patagonia Special. It's a very irritating uh, video that I dropped because I spent so long. Uh, the whole the part one uh, of the Patagonia special, we did just finish filming part two, um, but essentially dropped part one and BBC blocked it about five different times. The episode got taken off of copyright five separate times to essentially the point where I have to edit it to where there's just a giant BBC blocked it you know, text and blur screen, which sucks, uh, but I still, either way, I appreciate, A, you guys recommending the episodes because they are phenomenally entertaining. Sometimes I literally forget I'm recording uh, during them because I'm just sitting there watching and then awe and entertained, and B, you guys' support on the channel because it's been unbelievable, A, and I just thoroughly enjoy myself watching what you guys have been recommending. It's been fantastic. Which is why we are here today, because it is a nice mix of Top Gear, high speed action, but also a little chaos and drama. Uh, we're going to take a look at Richard Hammond in his first ever Top Gear crash. And not like one of the one of the joke ones where they crash into each other or they like hit a, a wall or something like that where it's sort of regulated. This is one that could have killed him. And apparently you guys have been filling me in on this uh, when I did the crash compilation video the, the other day that apparently it is extremely bizarre. So obviously viewer discretion is advised. Uh, this is, I believe, the full like four or five minute news story because I'm not sure if it ever dropped on Top Gear. But we're gonna take a look at this. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what year this was too because I'm very interested to know how old he was, like how long he'd been in Top Gear at this point that this then happened. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this video and what other videos you guys want to see. Uh, and let's get into it, because I'm excited. As well, guys, you can find the original video down in the description below. It's like the little news story bit, so it might be low quality, but worth it. Worth it. At least checking it out. Worth it. I can't even hear what he's saying. Parachute deployed. So he's good. <laughs> That's not a crash. Was I was I missing something? Obviously we're gonna keep going. But he did the first run perfectly fine. I'm kind of excited to hear what he's gonna say about this. You can't hear what he's saying. I, oh my god. That's how fast he was going. Dude, that's nutty. So he did two successful runs in it. This is kind of nutty to me. So they successfully did two runs in this car that is going near 300 miles an hour. You could you could say it's a car, but I when we did the world's fastest car episode, it's essentially a gigantic rocket. It is a gigantic rocket with wheels. You've done two successful runs. Why would you not stop that? I feel like you've got the footage you needed if you're the top gear producers to stop right there. Like, he can't get, obviously, much faster. You're just letting him run it just to run it at this rate. Like, that's terrifying. Oh, yes. I'm so alive. I'm so alive. And see, that's got to be a great feeling. And now I'm terrified.
Uh, that's terrifying. That just made me so sick to my stomach. Bro. That, that actually made me a little bit sick to my stomach. Oh. That could have been literally the last footage of Richard Hammond alive. That could have legitimately been the last footage of Richard Hammond of Top Gear alive. It's always the third run. It's always the third run. You should have stopped at two. Uh, I bet you, like, in hindsight, he wishes that. Uh, which, I mean, we're going to hear from him here in a second. So, I'm kind of intrigued. Wreckage from the left. Richard Hammond, the popular TV presenter, seriously ill in hospital. Vampire, the car that holds the UK land speed record, has been all but destroyed. Now, questions are being asked about why the BBC encouraged his presenters to try to beat that record. They get up to very high speeds, very high speeds, unbelievably quickly. I mean, up to 300 miles an hour in just a few seconds. No, why is it like muffled? I can't hear what he's saying. No. Maybe if we turn it up. Yeah, that's terrifying. To almost 300 miles an hour in six seconds. Its builder, former RAF technician Colin Fallows, we told Sky News six years ago that he was now concentrating on electric-powered cars, partly because they're less dangerous. Sky News has established that Top Gear deliberately pushed to make the car go faster. So they are 110 per they 110% tried to push him to go faster in this car, which now answers my question, why, why not stop after two test runs? Like, or not even test runs, why not stop after two runs? You, you had pushed him to the limit, like he kept the car safe, and then literally on the third run, the tire pops, the car goes, goes into a spiral, and Hammond nearly dies. Like that's, oh, that's terrifying. In an email sent on the 8th of September, Hammond's co-presenter James May is named as the driver in a plan to get him up to speed in the car and then see if he can do better than the UK land speed record. By the 13th of September, another email says James May has been replaced by Richard Hammond with the program's professional driver, the stick, as backup if Hammond couldn't do it. But the plan went disastrously wrong. After hitting around 300 miles an hour in one run, Hammond tried again. He reached a speed of around 280 Dude. miles an hour when the parachute brake was deployed. He switched off the fuel supply to slow the vehicle's violent acceleration. It's thought that a tire might have burst, but it's not known exactly what caused the accident. As Hammond lost control, I mean, it, it's, it's, the it's you can kind of, yeah. To the side and onto the grass. It's believed that Vampire rolled several times before coming to a rest up to 400 meters. Top Gear's Jeremy Clarkson has spent much of the day at Leeds General Infirmary where he joined James May at Richard Hammond's bedside with his wife and members of his family. The emails leaked to Sky News show that Top Gear had agreed not to take the land speed record for themselves. To do that, they would have had to make a fast run in each direction. Their plan was just to say their presenter was the fastest man on British soil. With Richard Hammond lying seriously injured in hospital with a... Top Gear kind of messed up here. Was this like a huge controversy like back in the day where like Top Gear actually ha like were liable for damage? Because I feel like they were so liable for damages in this. Like Richard Hammond, if he would have never returned to Top Gear and just sued them, he could have. Well, I mean, he probably signs off a lot of stuff. But still, this is insane to think about. And obviously, I'm very, very happy... Thankfully, he's okay, and he continued, he went, I think they said he went back to the car, which, not back to the car itself, but is like, looks back on it in a different light. I kind of want to see him talking about this, so if there's any interviews out there of Richard Hammond talking about this crash, link them to me in the comments, please, I need to see them. But, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below, and peace. This, this is crazy, it's absolutely nutty, but yeah, deuces.